Okay, I've also decided to make a quick video about uh, how I've set up the the ragdoll push from the character. It's something that I've that I've seen uh, people ask about on the forums, and uh, although there are obviously uh, solutions out there, I'll I'll just quickly show mine, which is actually a solution. I didn't specifically come up for this. Uh, I actually used it in um, when we did the bounty arms demo. I I used the exact the exact same solution. Uh, since what you'd normally do is go into the into the character pawn script and enable the rigid body collisions. And uh, um, I can't remember if there was anything else you had to do in the script. I think there's just a rigid body thing that you set to true and uh, that will allow the character to use his own rigid body uh, collision the, the physics object to push around other rigid bodies and that 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 kind of worked um, and I, I think I think that's pretty much how they've got it set up in Gears of War, as, uh, as far as I know, and it works really well in that game. Um, I think the only reason why it works so well in that game is because you, your your character movement is really, really slow. Um, what I found is if your legs move really fast, then you'll get some problems, and as it is with physics, there may or may not be some ways to control that or make it work better or whatever but uh, my solution uh, for that was to have a single object on the character uh, that does the rigid body push and so it doesn't happen on the leg animation itself it just happens based on the the pawn's movement so it's a much more subtle push and uh, it, it just works a lot better so uh, the way I've got that set up is actually quite simple. Um, I've got this guy. Uh, this cylinder is, <laughs> is kind of on its side because my original way uh, that I did this... Um, and again, uh, I'll just mention that the reason why I'm doing it like this for this uh, more specifically is I don't want to mess with scripting so I try and set up everything as is inside the editor using Kismet or whatever means necessary in the editor to make stuff work so uh, even though you can go into your pawn script and go and uh, spawn this object and uh, uh, you know it, it ultimately probably a little bit cleaner like that but yeah I've I've got everything working through Kismet um, I haven't been able to to actually find a, a solid way to spawn uh, interp actor through Kismet, so uh, I have to have it placed into the level beforehand. And the reason why it's uh, orientated like this is I've actually got it. I've actually got this specific cylinder set up so that it'll orient perfectly with the lower leg bone, because uh, I originally did try and put it on the legs just to just to see the effect of it but it's a little bit too violent uh, the character kicks the ragdolls around too too much so ultimately I decided to just uh, stick it to the to the actual pawn so uh, it's a much, much more subtle movement and, and things like that so, so I've got this guy on the level and um, it's actually uh, set up with collision like a simple sphere the simple sphere collision um, and yeah you, you can by doing this you can actually use a much uh, simpler mesh but uh, the mesh is never actually rendered or processed so I didn't really care to replace that and um, I place that on the character again using my um, my attached to actor uh, setup over here so um, I've got it uh, on zero on the character so it's on the ground the pivot point for the cylinder is actually 
at the bottom there so placing it on zero will put the, the bottom of the cylinder right on the ground and uh, and then I just pitch it back 90 degrees so it stands upright otherwise it's actually a little bit in front of the character and uh, yeah so that this thing allows me to to push rigid bodies uh, I've set the collision type to kickable uh, which I think is just a um, collision channel that uh, works works with rigid bodies uh, more specifically so um, and block rigid body is on there and um, can step that can actually be off because you can't really you can't actually step on that thing but that's the collision setup for that thing and that's it that's pretty much all it takes for the for you to be able to push rigid bodies around with your character and uh, yeah so I think that's it